the only way we can improve is making sure we make our vote count. Drop your vote in the right box. Drop your vote for Peter Obi. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, a place where all future millionaires come to get inspired. I am not here tonight just to inspire my future millionaire, but to actually tell them how to take their destiny into their own hands. Tonight is the eve of the Nigerian election. I am not a Nigerian myself, but I want to share my opinion about what this election actually means for Nigerians, especially living here in the diaspora. I just want to highlight that I work in the healthcare industry and about 60% of our workforce within that industry are Nigerians. We have a lot of educated and talented Nigerians who are living in the West and they are providing one of the best quality care in this country, in the UK. But we also know that we have people who are struggling within our own continent or in Nigeria, but they're not receiving the same similar or quality of care. So what is the problem? I think when we pose this question, a lot of Nigerians will talk about leadership. But this is an election if and what do this mean to the people who blame all this to leadership. I am not a politician. I have no interest in politics. But I also want those who want to be inspired to become future millionaires, as I talk about in this channel, to listen and also try to learn to people who are trying to mentor them out there about leadership and how leadership shapes tomorrow. We all know that when a child makes a mistake and you correct them, then they will have a chance of trying to mitigate the risk of that happening again. And we all also know that if you put someone in the position of power and they're not able to perform, but they are of the age to then correct their mistakes, then they can work on it. Young African leadership is one of the things that we have to start encouraging. I am not saying that every young person is the best leader, but what I am trying to say is that we should look among our population as African to think that almost 70% of our labor force are youths. But when we can turn to leadership, you will realize that nearly, nearly 90% or if not, 98 to 99% of our leaders are already of retirement age. We are not saying that these our leaders are not good enough, and we are not saying that they cannot perform, but let's be realistic. When you're retired, you've retired. It doesn't matter what career you're retiring in, but the bottom truth is that tonight is not just about the night for who has retired, who is not retired, but it's the night for us to encourage vibrant leadership. Nigerians have always referred to themselves as a super ego of Africa. Of course, being one or being the most populated, actually, the most populated African country, and in terms also in terms of uh, GDP, we would believe that Nigeria will have to do better when it comes to choosing who they want to lead their economy. They've had some challenges in the recent years about the Naira and the value of the Naira dropping day in, day out. But they also want to sort stability. But how do we bring stability when we have people campaigning to become our leaders who are already of dying age? One thing that we have to be looking at is who is vibrant, who is honest, and who is on the side of the youth who make up 70 to 80% of that labor force of in the population of over 100 to 200 million people. Peter Obi is the candidate of choice. Is he the best? I'll probably say yes. And is he the worst? I'll probably say yes and or no. But we have to look at 
the track of everyone who is campaigning to become this leader? Is it about power hungry people or people who want to lead a nation that they can be looked up to and try to bring the Africans or the Nigerians in the diaspora back to the motherland to also help and grow their economy and improve the life of their own people. One thing that we've noted during this campaign is people burning hearts of other politicians, the youth saying, this is who we want. Some other youth also saying, this is who. There is always a massive debate whether or not who make the best leadership. We've also seen it through their campaign speeches. We've also seen it through national debate. We've also seen it through tracks and tracks of evidence on how these individuals have actually leaked in the other governmental roles that they've held in the past. I think Peter Obi stand a better chance here. Does not only stand a better chance as the youngest who is going in for this election, but also with his record and the track that he has left when he was in office as the governor in Anambra State and the tracks he has left along across the years um, in his work life. A vote for Peter Obi would not only mean that Nigeria is now making the right decision, being in of which tribe and or what culture that they believe in is the belief that we need young leadership to lead us towards the right direction. Someone who can listen to us, someone who even if they failed, there is an opportunity for them to improve. Not someone who is thinking, if I am failing or if I'm sinking already, what is the point? I am dying anyway, which is what it looks like the likes of Tinibu and the rest of the leaders who are in position at this point. Speaking from the diaspora, I'm speaking the heart of the Nigerian people who I have spoken to. I'm speaking the heart of my own fellow colleagues. I'm speaking the heart of the few Nigerians who say they will want to return home one day, but they want to return home into good governance. They want to return home to a governance that believe that there should be value in what you are offering. But at this point, they do not feel that anyone value anything that they do. They do not feel that anyone values any contribution that they're bringing into their country, they're bringing into their own economy. Someone will say, you've been a graduate and now you're working in a job where you get paid 50,000 Naira in a month. 50,000 Naira, yeah, of course, we're talking about 50, 50 pounds or 60 to 70 dollars in a month. Who is going to live with $70 in a month as a graduate in this economy and time that we are in. So it makes things very challenging. You have to start thinking about why do people get paid? Why do people get this sort of wages that they are getting? What is it that we can do to create jobs? We have to be thinking about the bigger picture and where we want to see our children tomorrow. That's something that us as African we have faith in, and that's something that I think us as African, we can also improve. But the only way we can improve is making sure we make our vote count. Drop your vote in the right box. Drop your vote for Peter Obi. Drop your vote for any leader that you think that you believe in and that you believe that they are going to take Nigeria to the next level. My name is Terry Foch. I remain your humble boy from the root. I'm looking at things in Nigeria now at the root level. I'll be back here tomorrow to talk about my views on how the voting is going and how whoever is in power and how I see where they are taking that country to the next level. My fellow Nigerians, believe in yourselves, believe in your country, never give up no matter what. The African story will have to be told by yourselves and the African story is in your hands. Please vote wisely. As someone did say, they don't believe in people's wisdom this time. Vote for who you think you believe would lead you, your children and your country to the next page without any discrimination for what tribe you come from and to ensure that your children get a better 
quality education to ensure that there is welfare services in place to support you when you grow old and or maybe to support your parents at this point in time and reduce the burden in which we are already living in within this financial crisis. Thank you very much for watching. Share, like and subscribe to my channel and we will meet again to discuss this same topic. Thank you and goodbye.